What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna use the free extension JHS Power Bar to quickly create a grid of hanging lights. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so JHS Power Bar is a collection of different extensions for SketchUp that you can uh, download and install just as one extension. And so as of right now, I think the, the version that I'm using is the 2020 version. It seems to be working on SketchUp 2023, but you can download this for free through Sketchication. All right, so I'm gonna start just by drawing a simple rectangle. So I'm just gonna draw my rectangle right here. And so in this case, I'm just gonna take this rectangle and I'm going to split it up. And there's a tool in here called Split Up from TIG that'll do that for me. So if I type in like five divisions, it's gonna come in here and it's going to subdivide this surface by five right? So it splits it up into five surfaces. So next, what I want to do is I want to create the wires for the lights. And so the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to create a singular wire and I'm going to place it at the intersection of all of these points in here. And so the way that I want to do that is I want to start by selecting this surface and there's an option in here for C points at vertex. Basically what that means is that means that's going to create control points at every one of the vertices. This will be important in a second. Now note that you want to make sure that you come in here and you turn this tool off just by going to the um, select tool up here and selecting it. Otherwise it'll place vertices wherever you click. But now I'm just going to take this surface. I'm going to make a group for now and I'm just going to hide it. And so what I want to do is I want to create my hanging wires. And so in this case, I'm just going to create a wire that's going to hang down like this. And actually kind of what I want to do is let's go ahead and let's create just a little bit of an arc in here. I don't want anything like super special or super crazy. Um, I just want enough that this isn't like 100% straight and I'm just going to erase out these edges and so I'm going to select these two edges right click and I'm going to make them a component and so what I want to do is I want to click on the option for create and so what we're going to do is we're going to use a tool in here called select C points and one component to place and so what that's going to do is that's going to allow me to select these control points do a shift click and then activate this and it's going to create a copy of this um, that's going to get placed at every one of these vertices. Now, um, what I wanna do though, before I do that, and I'm gonna do a undo, is I wanna double click in here and I wanna make sure that I've taken this object axis and I've placed it at the top of this edge because what this is going to do, and I'm gonna go ahead and say yes when I click out of this, what this is gonna do is it's going to place this object at these vertices using the object axis. So I'm just gonna select this and then I'm gonna do a shift click in order to select this component. I'm gonna click on the option for select C points and components in place. And so what that's going to do is that's going to place copies of all of these at every one of these control points. Now, before I do anything else, what I wanna do is I wanna take this and I wanna randomize it a little bit because it's a little too uniform. Right. Well, there's actually a tool in here called Random Scale and Rotate from the CAD Father that's going to basically do exactly what it sounds like. It's going to come in here and add randomization um, and both to the rotation as well as the scale of these objects. And you can do that multiple times if you wanted to. And note that it keeps the object axis where it was before, meaning you get some great randomization to the rotation as well as the length of this whole thing without actually having to worry about um, it moving around on you. So now what I wanna do, right? Because we don't wanna come in here and we don't wanna place a bunch of light bulbs manually. So we're gonna go to the 3D warehouse real quick and we'll just download light bulb, go to models, and we'll use one of these. So I'm just gonna download this, say yes. And I'm just gonna place this in my model. We'll do a little bit of cleanup, right? Because all I want is I just want one of these. So I'm gonna delete this one, delete this one, and delete this one. And then I'm just going to double click in here. And so we're gonna take this object and we're gonna use the axis tool in order to place the axis right in the center. We're gonna click out of this and click on yes. Then we're just gonna do that same thing. 
And so for this next step, I haven't really figured out a way to automate the process. Basically what we need is we need control points on each one of these that we can then use in order to place our object, kind of like we did before, right? But we don't wanna use the C points at vertex because what that's gonna do is that's gonna create control points at like every vertex that's in here, which is a lot and it doesn't really benefit us. So what I'm gonna do instead, and there may be an easier way, if anybody knows an easier way, let me know, but I'm just gonna go through real quick and I'm just gonna click on the ends. And the nice thing about this is this is gonna kinda of like find the ends. You can't place these off into space, right? But I just wanna place a control point at every one of the vertices that's in here. So I'm just going to click in here. But then, We've got all the control points in here. We can select them. We can select this light and click on this button right here in order to place these. And um, since these are all components, because I've got this in here kind of facing the wrong direction, I'm just gonna take this whole thing and I'm just going to scale it to negative one. So I'm just gonna scale it down to negative one, just like this. But now I've got all of these lights that are hanging off of the edges right here. Now, say that you wanted to create a grid with like a pipe or something like that, you could actually select all of these. And there's an option in here for connect C points with line. So when I do that, what that's gonna do is that's gonna come in here and that's going to connect all of these with a line along a path like this. And so then you could just kind of leave this as is, or if you wanted to, you could also select that path, right? So just select it. And there is a tool in here called lines to tubes. And so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click in here and I'm gonna select this path and I'm gonna activate lines to tubes. And in this case, we're gonna create a very small tube. So it's gonna have a diameter of maybe like a quarter inch or something like that, or even like an eighth of an inch. So we're gonna type in an eighth of an inch. We can do a pretty low precision in here because it doesn't really matter because it's gonna be so small. But what that's gonna do is that's gonna create a tube along that path. And you could actually do the same thing with all of these as well. And since there's still instances of a component, I think you only have to run this once, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run this like this. Well, now you've got hanging wires at every one of these lights. So you can use this to quickly generate this grid of lights inside of SketchUp. All right, so if you wanna learn some more about JHS Power Bar, I will link to my playlist of tutorials on most of these tools in the notes down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.